start the video. So welcome everyone to uh, this week's uh, episode five, Mr. Wizard's Weekly Workshop, Breaking Up Your Big Rocks. I'm going to share my screen. I've got a little PowerPoint presentation to kind of frame the presentation. Hopefully my internet's not terribly laggy. Still haven't worked through all the issues I'm starting, I'm having with my uh, cell modem. All right, so uh, yeah, you. your internet's unstable. So Gina, can you see my screen? Uh, so breaking up your big rocks this is episode five. I'm gonna get my slideshow. Okay, so welcome. Uh, as I said, this is uh, episode five, Mr. Uh, Wizard's weekly workshop, and the uh, the focus this week, this week's actionable task. Uh, if uh, you choose to accept the, your mission is to identify your most important goal, big rock, uh, for either the next uh, three or six months and get started on breaking it down into specific ordered and measurable steps. That'll give you an action plan. <clears throat> and as usual, as a reminder, if you get some benefit from this uh, video, if you're watching it uh, later and uh, you like and enjoy it, then hit the link. Hit the like link and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, so, little context. So, this is based on my pretty extensive experience as a project manager. So, I spent 20 plus years of my total 44 year career in IT as either a project manager, scrum master, or a director of project management. So, I know from personal experience that there are specific project management principles, processes, skills, and techniques which can be taught, learned, and applied by solopreneurs or very small businesses uh, to better run, manage, and grow their business. So as a business coach, that's what I help my clients do is overcome procrastination and increase productivity. And one of the things that I'm typically able to help them significantly with is what we're about <coughs> to talk about now, which is how to think about, plan, you know, what are your intermediate, the things that you most need to be focusing on to advance your business. So uh, in the, and there's an industry, it's kind of a slang term, but big rock, it's uh, actually in the PM world. If you say big rock to a project manager, he's going to know what you're talking about. So they're your, your priorities. They're the goals or objectives that you absolutely must accomplish, the things that are critical to achieving your overall mission, right? your, uh, your business objective. So people tend to struggle with three big things when they're trying to think about and establish their priorities. You know, one is they have too many priorities and they or don't differentiate truly important. And for any number of reasons, they let other less important things get in the way of focusing on what really matters. So I've already recorded a detailed video on setting priorities, and that's Mr. Wizard's Workshop Episode 2. Um, so I'm not going to recapitulate everything I talked about there, but um, as a kind of a teaser or a basic thought from that one is difference between what's important and what urgent and usually what what's important is not urgent and what is urgent is seldom important so characteristic of a, a good goal is it's specific and well defined it's measurable achievable or realistic I'd say a lot of people say they have a goal of making a million dollars okay that could or might not be realistic based on their specific business and context, but you know, I could, I could say I have a goal of playing, uh, become a professional in NBA. Uh, mm, yeah, probably not achievable. <laughs> uh, it needs to have a specific date. <clears throat> and here's where I want to tie this back a little bit to priorities. So it needs to directly support your vision. You know your core values that uh, and the the it should be it may not be urgent may not be something that has to get done in the next x period of time there may not be some external thing that's driving it like hey i've got to pay my taxes by uh, april 2015 or april uh, by the middle of april but anyway it should be a high priority thing so for the exercise for today and i'm going to use uh, one of my high priority goals as kind of a starting point example would be uh, identify something that is truly a high priority goal for you for your business to, to move your business along so 
my recommendation is make it either a, a quarterly goal, uh, something that's going to happen within the next three months of just starting over, starting a new quarter here, or a six-month goal. So as an example, to get us started, I picked, uh, I'd say it's probably my highest priority goal for the next six months. So by the end of this year, right now, the specific goal is to grow my mailing list in get direct which is my my audit my email automation from the current pathetic 150 to 10,000 qualified contacts by the end of this year so I've already pointed out probably is better uh, and it'd be better for you to, to get if you want to uh, play this game if you want to get started to break this down to a three-month goal so I went ahead and did that and then on the follow-up slides, you can see where I started. Uh, I took this three-month goal, which is grow my mailing list and get direct from 150 to 3,000 qualified contacts. So you'll notice that I didn't just uh, split it in half, make it 5,000 qualified contacts, because there is, I'm building in or assuming there's going to be some ramp up time. And I'll, as I get things going and continue to make progress and hit some of the, my intermediate milestones, um, I'll start better and things will go quicker. But it's probably not completely realistic to just say, all right, for this three month goal, I'm going to divide my six month goal in half and make it 3,000 or make it 5,000. So, and you'll see as I go along, I'll talk a little bit more about how once I go through this process, I may and break it down to the point uh, to more uh, intermediate milestones and then get started on breaking it down into specific tasks needed to get me to each milestone. That may cause me to say, okay, 10,000 over that's you know, it sounds like a good number. That would be great. But is that going to be realistic or not? And I'll kind of talk through that and kind of show you my thinking on it. So before you do this, you need to step back and identify what's your actual budget uh, that can support this goal. So I'm using, again, PM terms, but solopreneurs, it's going to be time time and energy and possibly a certain amount of money uh, depending on if you have to invest or if you can move quicker by investing X amount uh, either in tools uh, it primarily would be tools uh, it could be potentially outsourcing but there's nothing I have you know, there's no task I've identified yet on this particular this particular goal that I can outsource <clears throat> so for me because uh, this is a high priority goal uh, I I realistically have 15 hours a week of to work on this, the to be developed action plan to achieve this goal. And I'm willing to invest 200 a month uh, for any tools or training or potentially advertising, uh, which I'll talk about that a little bit more shortly, which might be needed to, to achieve this goal. All right, so the, the next step is create a map of milestone. So goals, almost always can be divided into miles. So my recommendation is pick four to six major milestones. And milestones are just checkpoints. They're intermediate steps along the way. Again, they're, they're measurable uh, that will show me that, <clears throat> that I'm making. You know, as a reminder, the, the final milestone for my quarterly goal is 3,000 con by September 30. So I did a first cut here of uh, breaking it out basically every couple of weeks. You don't have to get it down to to weekly because this is not down at the task level but it, it's milestones so at least as a first cut uh, and I'm I'm doing my quarterly planning right now anyway so I haven't completed this but I picked this because it's important and I've started on it so you can kind of see as an example uh, where I've gotten to as far as uh, setting milestones and then next I'll talk a little bit about the the task breakdowns based on the the first milestone. So by J July 15th, add 200 new contacts. Two, le two weeks later, add 300. Again, I'm assuming, and it's a reasonable projection right now, that as I get better at this and climb some of these learning curves and make progress, I'll, <clears throat> I'll be able to go faster. So, you know, if you add these numbers up, this, you know, 200, 300, 400, 500, 700, by September 16th, add 900, that's going to get me to my 3,000 goal. And that actually, a couple of weeks early, so I built in a little contingency here. So the, the next step, once you've created a milestone map, 
is create a task list. So break this down and it's a lot easier to do to, to create a specific task list which is going to give you your, your action plan if you focus in on the milestone. So pick your first milestone. So, and this isn't a complete list, I've got a good start, but here are the things I've already identified that I need to do to uh, hit that first milestone. Let me back up just as a reminder. So that first milestone is by July 15th at 200 new kinds. So not overwhelming, it's manageable, it might be a little bit aggressive, but you know, Right now, based on everything I know, I think it's doable. So here, here are the particular things that I've already identified that I, the action steps I, I need to take to position me to achieve that first milestone. I won't read off the whole thing, but you know, subscribe to get direct, invest uh, two time box hours, and I'll talk about that a little bit, in studying get direct. So time box means it's a, again, a PM term. You just say, in advance, here's all I'm going to allocate to this particular thing. I think some people, and I have a tendency sometimes to over-research uh, and study instead of just doing. So I think it is a good investment for a couple of hours to get through the basics of uh, get direct. Uh, but then after that, I need to learn anything else I need to know about the tool by doing. So next thing is to load my current initial 150 contacts into get direct add a, a get direct link to my website contact list so that uh, I can automate uh, if someone uh, comes to my web page and they want to uh, I invite folks on my web page to join uh, you know my email list or reach out to me if they have a question so I need to automate that so that uh, if someone comes into my website and hits my contact list then I collect their uh, information in get direct i need to add a call to action in my youtube channel to join uh, my mailing list i need to send a promotional email they call it a blast in get direct out to my my current list about my my youtube channel i haven't actually started promoting it yet you know they're already going to be on my mailing list but i want to make them aware of the channel and then i'm going to ask uh, for referrals hey if you like it you know anybody you think might be interested just uh, send them on over the other thing i'm going to do is subscribe uh, to click funnels and that's a tool i've picked to build out and manage my funnels <clears throat> i'm going to invest three time box hours into studying getting up to speed on the basics of uh, click funnels uh, and then i'm going to create implement and promote my first funnel in ClickFunnels. And that, that particular funnel is going to be an email, you know, a list builder funnel specifically. Now I'm going to have to spend a little bit more time in some of the study that I'll do in that three hour time is how to, how to optimize a list building funnel and how to promote it. <clears throat> but I've already identified one promotion channel, which is going to be, I'm going to test solo ads. That's where you can purchase uh, from uh, a service provider, and I've got a, a good one already uh, identified. A uh, hundred click, you can get a hundred click package of solo ads that, with your swipe information, they email out to their list uh, and promote your thing. For promotion, that's the ones uh, are the first thing I've landed on that I know I'm going to do, and then I need to create, think about, and create. Uh, at least a few more tasks about okay how what what all am I going to do to promote this first funnel back so that's the getting started list my my gut for just for that first milestone so my gut is there's feels there's probably based on experience probably I think six or seven more tasks that I'll be able to add to this that gives me a, a very solid set of tasks get me to that first mouse and then I will take these tasks and allocate them across my weekly schedule and Gina you you know you've seen before and I think and, and one of the other uh, YouTube videos folks if you're just watching this where I talked about uh, calendar blocking so this gives me the basic list of tasks that I need to put out into my and block them out over the the next now one of the things I'll do is once I do this you know uh, goal setting you, you need to you iterate to a certain extent so I'll have a, in uh, two weeks, I'll have a much better feel for is that 10,000 number 
and if it is, I'll I'll do certain amount of tweaking. I might not like give up on it right away, and I might stick with the three thousand uh, target for this, uh, but. Uh, I might also start tweaking it down a little bit and going, okay, probably, probably based on what I'm seeing right now and the progress I'm making, and I expect to be making some good progress, but I'll have much better information in a couple of weeks. Maybe 3,000 for uh, my uh, quarterly is a little bit too ambitious. One thing you have to be careful about with goals is don't, <clears throat> you know, you, you want to be aggressive. And you want to, you know, think big, but then you also don't want to target a goal that just isn't going to be doable because that's demotivating. No. Wanted to maybe if if, uh, if someone like Gina, have you, well, first, Gina, any particular questions? Uh, anything you want to talk about as far as what I've discussed or? Um, no, uh, it's just from my perspective, your voice kept on going in and out, but I was able to follow the PowerPoint. So I don't have any questions because I've been working with you for how many months now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I apologize for the video. Uh, hopefully on the recording, it's going to be better uh, that you mentioned for. All right. Yeah. Well, Gina, thanks for joining me. I apologize for the uh you know, the internet issues. Obviously, I I dropped out a couple of times, so I'm going to have to do some editing, but I will get it cleaned up and I'll let you know uh, once I have it edited and uploaded, I'll send you the link. So, uh, but uh, thanks again. Yeah, so, you have a great rest. Yeah, let me know if you 